Hi, my name is Douglas Sidney. I am very proud to share that I've been lucky enough to have been with the Wayman Agency for over 10 years now. I'm a Minneapolis native. I've done work in the industry for 15 years here in Minneapolis. And film is what drew me to the work. I love the craft of acting. I've been able to work in over 70 films here in the Twin Cities, a number of which have premiered um, at festivals like Kane and South by Southwest. I do commercial work as well, some great spots for local companies companies local to Minneapolis, a couple of nationwide spots as well, one for my favorite brand in the entire world, Adidas, their golf company, TaylorMade. I do print work, a great number of companies here in the Twin Cities keep their brand work here, been able to work on projects, and also I do voice work, I love doing voice work, audio narration, uh, narration for television spots and for radio spots as well. Additionally, I also do live event spokesperson and hosting work. I am a guest host for the Evine Live Network, which is campused here in the Twin Cities. I have my own category as a home product specialist, and I am able to do demonstrations live on air in addition to talking about vendors' products as well. And then finally, I've been lucky enough to be a co-host here for the Twin Cities Film Fest, which is in its eighth year. Next year will be its ninth year. We get to talk to filmmakers that are both local and from abroad as well about their films and the work that they bring to the Twin Cities. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Again, my name is Douglas Sidney. Thank you for considering me. Wow, 355 horses. Is that a V8? You've been to Friendly before, haven't you? Never go anywhere else. We'll take it. Get 20% off every 18 Silverado Crew or Double Cab. Zero APR for 60 on every 18 Equinox. I'll be back. I'll be here. Friendly Chevrolet. a moment. Trust your vision to St. Paul Eye Clinic. Harvest the savings now during Menards Oktoberfest sale. Menards has the appliances you're looking for with all of the latest features and the stylish looks you want in your home. This Frigidaire dishwasher is $499 after rebate. Update your floors with Snapstone porcelain tiles. They install easily over existing floors. 6 by 24 tile available in three styles is $549 a square foot. Now during Menards Oktoberfest sale. Save big money at Menards. for thin grocery bags that don't really work, paper bags with flimsy handles that always seem to break, finally, there's a solution. Introducing the stylish, eco-friendly Floyd & May Tote. Nothing finishes off the perfect outfit like a great bag. Take it to work, the park, a weekend outing, quick stop at the store, and so much more, while keeping your planet plastic-free. The Floyd & May Tote is a truly multi-purpose tote. It folds up and snaps together for easy storage, under the seat of your car or in a kitchen drawer. Floyd & May is made of durable woven cotton canvas, recycled plastic, and other sustainable, eco-friendly materials. It's multifunctional and the answer to all situations, from unexpected shopping requiring extra bags to last-minute trips. 
The Floyd & May Tote features six interior pockets, which hold six additional reusable bags, making it the perfect tote for someone on the go. No more worrying about fingerprints all over expensive devices or eyewear, because now you can clean them with ease with the all-new Swipeys. Where you get your home loan matters. Yep. Pre-approval. You want pre-approval? Boom! There you go. At Liberty Bank Minnesota, we offer a wide range of mortgage products designed to make your process quick and easy, all without the weirdness. Woo! Liberty Bank Minnesota, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hello everyone, good evening and welcome to our first episode. It is our inaugural episode of Good Chats. And huge thanks to both our studio audience tonight and to those of you viewing at home, and of course to CTV North Suburbs. This show is the ideation and the creation of the incredibly intelligent, driven, passionate, kind, and caring individual sitting next to me whom you'll meet in just a second. And it's the outshoot of her nonprofit called Growing Out of Darkness, Good and is formulated around her. She's also a recent author. The book that she put together is called Growing Through Grief. And Jenny Landon is a tireless advocate for greater awareness of suicide prevention. Her entire goal around her foundation and her book as well is twofold. It is growing through suicide to one, heal, and two, instill hope. And those are going to be the topics that we are going to be focusing on throughout our episode tonight and future episodes. It is such a pleasure to have our in-studio audience and a little bit quickly about how Jenny and I were able to meet, which I think is such a great story. It occurred just a couple of weeks ago and I also am fortunate enough to get to host the Twin Cities Film Fest, which is a local film festival. We are in earnest in the fall. We have our Insider Series that screens content throughout the remainder of the year. A couple weeks ago, we screened a documentary by a filmmaker, a filmmaker named James Curry, who is a Minneapolis native. His documentary focuses on his loss of his brother Brian to suicide. I was able to interview him, and the film screened... Jenny reached out to me having seen our interview and she's since met James and also seen his documentary. He's with us tonight and we can't thank him enough for, for bringing this partnership together. It's such a nice introduction. I couldn't be more honored and privileged to be able to introduce the reason for our show, Good Chats, Jenny Landon. Jenny? Thank you. Thanks, Doug. Oh, hi. Hi, are you Brandon? Brandon, yes. Officer Jones with Very the Finding nice Police you. Department. You as well. And uh, Have you been on a walkthrough? Yeah, you? I was just finishing walking through the home with, the, with another officer, yeah. Oh, good. Did you notice anything missing? Um, I didn't at the time, but I do plan on doing a much more thorough walkthrough. Okay. Uh, what I can tell you is that I checked my firearm cabinet. All of my firearms are still there. Mm -hmm. So is all the ammo. <laughs> That is good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> so nothing else missing that you're aware of. That's that's great. Uh, Brandon, no. if you're up for it right now, I need to get some basic information from you as well. Have you had damage to your basement windows recently? No, mm -mm. not at all. And if we had, it would have been fixed yeah. right away. Um, okay. It would have stressed Susan out to no end yeah. and would have provided a way for the cat to get out. So <laughs> we would have fixed I'm it right away. sensing security and cat here. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you own a crowbar? I did notice one in the basement do, near that window. I don't think we, no. we don't. Okay. Now, do can either of you think of anyone who might have wanted to break into your home? No. No. Yeah. Okay. And is there anything else that you can think of that maybe I haven't th thought to ask you or that might be helpful? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. No. no. I can't think okay. of anything. 
Great. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to answer all of my questions. This is a business card with the case number on the back okay. of it. So if you think of anything else, uh, please give me a call, reference the case number. Okay. We'll also be leaving you a property loss form. You know, as you look through your home, you see there might be something else missing potentially. Fill out that form and, you know, get it to us as soon as possible. Okay. I will follow up with your neighbors and check some of the databases for your missing property and we will keep you posted. Okay. okay. I have a question. Yes, has the, please. Has the perimeter around the property been It has looked been at? secured. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. This is insane. Look at this. Is anything I just, else missing? Well, I just got done walking through the rest of the house with the other officer. The bedrooms are fine, but they looked rummaged through. Yeah. All of my firearms are still there, oh thank God. God, and the ammo. Oh, my God. Uh, Hi, I'm partner, Brandon. Mr. Tri okay, I'm Officer Jones nice with to the meet Mining you. Police Department. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I can't believe this. Th so you... I, I know. This is crazy. Um, and I'm, I'm so sorry about that. We're going to do everything we can to look Good. for you. And officers have already cleared your home, sir, as you know, come through. Has all this been dusted notice? for prints? I mean, we have to find who did this. Uh, the the fingerprint people will be coming in after. Um, I don't feel safe. Me, I think. I don't feel safe here. Why don't you do This is an affluent area. We need more patrol if something like this is happening. Right? I don't know how they could have gotten in. How is this, this happening? This is beyond me. Yes, sir. Uh, we please be assured that officers have done everything they can to clear your home. And could we could we ask a couple more questions mm -hmm. for you? Sure. Yeah. Whatever. Um, sir, what is what? Uh, are you also the homeowner here? Yes. Okay. And what is uh, your date of birth? Eight twenty two seventy three. Okay. And what's the best phone number to reach you at? Uh, six five one seven two one five four five three. Great. Um, now, have you noticed any damage on basement windows, or uh, would you potentially have used a crowbar down there or left meat out God, of the freezer? No. No. God, no. no. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Um, well, if, if uh, you guys think of anything else, this is my business card. Please give us a call and okay. let us know. Okay. And we will keep you posted on what we find. Are you staying? Okay. Is someone staying around the house tonight? or? Uh, you know, I will check with my supervisor and get back with you on that. Okay. Um, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you. What is going on in this neighborhood? Did you leave anything open? No, you know me. I do. I... This is ridiculous. And I checked everything before you left, so I don't even know. She said there's some form we fill out or something. Do you know the new neighbors? No, it's probably them. 